Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrader.com and today we are looking at our Yakima Exo Swing Base System with the Snowbank Ski and Snowboard Carrier. Now if you're interested in the Exo System which allows you to build up and out with different accessories but you're really into skiing or snowboarding, this kit is a great way to start because you get the Swing Base with the Ski and Snowboard Carrier and then you can build up from there. The maximum length of ski you can fit on this is 185 centimeters, which is around a little bit over 72 inches. Also note how we clamped it down on the ski's binding. So just keep that in mind in terms of your bindings. If you note know, here, I have pretty thick bindings on my skis, so I wasn't able to load them up and down. You can see here, even with the double joint hinge at the end, I can't bring it to a close. So just keeping that in mind with your bindings. So my measurement here from the bottom of my skis to the top of my bindings is an inch and three quarters. Now it does depend on where you are placing it for when you mount it. So if you do find your bindings are a little too thick, you can still mount them side by side. As for the crossbar spread, which is a distance from one point to the other, from center to center, we have 21 and a half inches. Now for the dimensions of our snowbank carrier itself, for length from one end to right where that button is, it is 32 and a half inches. I do like how our skis and snowboards are mounted here because it's super quick and easy to just open that button and grab my skis for when I want to go. But the downside of it in this position on our swing base is that it is lower to the ground. So that means as you are driving, be mindful that there may be snow and possibly dirt kicked up towards your equipment. At the end, you do have that big button. And one thing to note is that you can use this with your thick gloves. You just press that and it pops up and stays into place. It also has this ratcheting here at the bottom just to help you secure your skis of different heights. With the swing base kit, which is our base right over here, you have the option to swing this away. And to do so, you have this knob right here at the end that you need to loosen. So just rotate that until it releases the base. Once that is loosened, you can then pull this lever and push out until it swings all the way out and locks into place at that end. When you have your whole crew with you, your whole family with you, having that option to swing out is awesome because then someone can be taking off the skis while the others access the hatch and maybe grab all your bags, your coats, your gear, all in one quick and easy process without having to take your rack off. To swing it back, you need to unlock this knob by just lifting it up. Hold on to this support handle as you ride it up that ramp. That lever pops into place and then you rotate that knob to tighten it down again. To install this kit, you first need to start with your swing base. So once you have that installed into your hitch and tightened down, you then start by releasing these arms. So pull on that lever, start with the left arm and just push that out and it snaps into place. Then go over to the passenger side arm, pull that lever, swing it out and it snaps into place. Make sure your tab is in the open position and just rotate your knob counterclockwise to open up those tracks. Once your tracks are available, make sure you have the carrier with the button facing out and just pop those in there. Just like that and then tighten it down. With it fully tightened down, you can then pop this tab into there and that will lock it into place. Once you've done the same on the other side, you can then use the key to lock the knob and that will cause it to free spin once it's locked and then your whole system is complete. With your snowbank installed, let's throw some skis and snowboards in there. At the end, you have a double joint. So not only does it swing upwards, but if you have thick skis, you have another joint to give you a little extra space to accommodate those larger snowboards or skis. On the inside, you have this nice thick rubber lining that will support your skis and snowboards and will be flexible enough to accommodate them as you lock them into place. Now this is what it looks like loaded up. We have two sets of skis and two snowboards. It's really up to you with the size of skis and the size of bindings you have on your skis for what you can fit in here, but you should be able to fit five pairs of skis or four pairs of snowboards. 
My final thoughts about this whole system is I love how the swing base allows me to swing this out and gives me plenty of space to work with to take off my skis, grab my gear. It's a nice, simple, easy process. I do highly recommend picking up the other accessories though, just to make sure you use it to its full effect, but it does have nice features like that hinge and that big button, as well as the space to work with. So if you are really into snow sports, I think adding this to your repertoire is a pretty good idea.